The typical crash test takes about 300 milliseconds, like a third of a second to be performed, but the preparation for it can take weeks. We have just one chance to get the data we want. And it is very expensive and complex, so we got to make sure that we get it right the first time. The Zoox vehicle has the most comprehensive set of safety features ever implemented in a vehicle. In 2017, we started designing our first prototypes. We built those towards the end of 2017, and those prototypes were really high quality prototypes. So what a normal manufacturer would do as a second wave, we did that as a first step. And those vehicles we built, as we crash tested those vehicles and we learned small things that we enhanced in the next generation. But what we're very sure on, because we've gone through that full development process, is the architecture itself of the vehicle you see behind us can meet the performance targets we set. Zoox is building a ground-up autonomous vehicle that does not include typical human controls like steering wheels or brake pedals. Even though we do not have those typical pieces of equipment, we still must comply with the same regulations that every other motor vehicle complies with. FMVSS, or Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, are the minimum safety standards that all passenger vehicles in the U.S. must comply with to operate on public roads. These include three areas of crash testing focus. Frontal crash tests, side crash tests, and crash tests related to the integrity of our electrical vehicle system. Our configuration, there is no steering wheel, there is no instrument panel. So we had to be creative in trying to find a solution for both the side crash performance and frontal crash performance. The airbags come out of the roof and we've developed a very unique system in order to achieve that. Our unique airbag system includes a horseshoe airbag as well as two frontal airbags for each row of occupants. The horseshoe airbag encloses the entire row of occupants. It provides side impact protection, it provides a reaction surface for our frontal airbags, and it provides compartmentalization as well. Before the vehicle is tested on a full vehicle crash, all of these individual components of the airbags or the seat belts are actually tested at a component level. When you go through all of these tests at the component level, then you figure out the configuration that you're going to use for a sled test, which is a simulated barrier test. CAE is computer-aided engineering, which is used to simulate the real-world scenarios. Before we actually build the physical vehicle, we actually simulate the entire vehicle uh, in the virtual world and understand whether our design is good or not before we go into the, the physical build. Using CA enables us to reduce the time to develop parts, reduces the cost in associated with development, and also, more importantly, reduces the number of physical prototypes we have to make to sign off a design phase. One of the things we decided very early on is maneuverability of the vehicle, so the vehicle is very short. One of the main challenges for, from the crash structure point of view is we have a smaller crumple zone. And then one of the real big innovation we did is to be able to pack all the drive module and the motor in the package space and then use the drive module kinematics to be able to squeeze a lot of crush in that small space and then dissipate all the crash energy so that the occupants feel very low decelerations. I think it's probably industry first. In the crash test event, we're not only looking at the event itself, we're also looking at what's happening after the crash. For example, if the vehicle gets into a crash, that we have the hazard lights switched on, that the, the occupant inside the vehicle sees where it is, that the lights are switched on. We want to make sure that we don't get potential hazardous fumes from the outside of the vehicle into the cabin, so we switch off the HVAC. And most important of all, we, we want to make sure that we get our occupants safely out of the vehicle. The overall concept and the idea that we have that we want to build a safe vehicle and to protect riders as well as the, the people that are interact with our vehicle. A vehicle that is taking mobility to the next step and to a safer step.